Hi guys, I'm Tanya Ma, and in the next couple of minutes, I'm going to attempt to tell you how the Uncookbook with Hay House came about. When I was 24 years old, my parents came into raw food first. They discovered this way of living and they literally overnight changed their whole diet and their whole lifestyle. Now, it's not something I was interested in at that age at all, but their enthusiasm, their energy, just their way of being was so contagious that I literally needed to get my hands on those books right there and then. So here I am reading the first book and I'm reading testimonial after testimonial of people healing. Not just healing, but healing without doctors, without drugs, without hospitals. They were healing on food, on raw food. And suddenly it occurred to me, I'm one of those people. If you go back 10 years, a car crash left me with a broken back and uh, really badly damaged internal organs. So I'm at the hospital and I'm getting worse and worse and worse instead of getting better because any food they gave me, whether it was mashed potatoes or jelly or ice cream, the things that were supposed to be really digestible, actually made me worse. And my body completely rejected those foods. My body would just throw it right back out. So I wasn't digesting anything at all. And I was just getting skinnier and skinnier and weaker and weaker. Uh, as the days progressed. So the doctors got desperate and they asked my parents uh, what they thought about having my pancreas removed. Now here are these two people that already have gone under so much trauma because of their child, you know, watching me in the hospital. But they're faced with a really huge decision. So of course they went and asked the doctor, well, what is going to happen, you know, if we do or if we don't leave in uh, her pancreas? And the doctors had exactly the same answer, which is, we don't know. That was the only answer that my parents needed to realize that it is an absolutely vital organ. And if you don't know either way, we're absolutely keeping it in. So they went and they tried to do everything they can uh, to find a way for me to heal. And the first thing that was literally totally intuitive is they asked me to close my eyes and think about all the different foods uh, out there and the first food that didn't make me feel nauseous they would go out and get it well this was a really difficult task for me because at that time I was completely over food anything I was ever given would just come back out and it would make my body hurt so much um, so I, I closed my eyes I thought about everything and there were actually three things that came to mind uh, that I thought I could tolerate and one was peppermint tea, one was manuka honey, and another one was vegetables. But not vegetables in a way where they were really like whole vegetables because the thought of them being whole meant I would have to chew them and the thought of chewing would, have, would mean movement and anything to do with movement was pain for me at that time. So my parents went and they got a juicer and they just started juicing lots of vegetables and I got to keep my pancreas. So here I am reading a book and I realized I actually healed all of those years ago on food. And it was to me that was so amazing. And also what was really amazing is that I realized, you know, not a lot of people know about this. Even I didn't know, even my family didn't know that that was the answer. So that got me really interested. And I got my hands on every single bit of literature about nutrition and about raw food that ever is. And I really got so enthusiastic about wanting to uh, share all of this information with as many people as I could. So I started running workshops, I started running retreats, I started writing ebooks, uh, I made a DVD and ended up opening Tanya's Cafe times two. And so the Uncookbook was a really natural and a really beautiful way of putting everything I've ever done together. Uh, and putting together my favorite recipes ever, not just my own, you know, that are favorite to me, but to all of the customers that have come into the cafe and that have tried out my food. So I'm so super excited to introduce the end cookbook into the world, introduce it to you guys. And I cannot wait for you to see it. I can't wait for you to see the images and the recipes. And especially, I can't wait for you to try it all. Uh, there are over 140 recipes and there is something for everybody. There's even a section for the kids. There's even a section for superfood cocktails uh, in the party section. So I really cannot wait for you to check it out for yourself and give Raw Food a try with the Uncooked Book.